There we go. Hey everybody, it's John from ProCraps here. Gonna get in a little practice session tonight. Um, I just was filming videos all day today, <laughs> believe it or not. And what I'm doing is I'm doing these kind of short form, fast, like maybe five to 10 minute long, how do you play a, one of my strategies? And I wanna do a longer rollout with each one of them. And it's good to get some practice in. So I'm gonna practice some of my core strategies here over the next week or so. And for the purpose of getting a good live roll in to serve as kind of the demonstration for the strategy, plus get some practice in. So my bankroll tonight is 35 bucks. Seems like a ridiculous amount of money, but what I'm gonna do here is play a come ladder strategy, which it's one of my go-tos. Been playing it for, for years and years and years. I practice it at the white level because it doesn't matter what the chips are. These could be reds, greens, blacks, doesn't matter what they are. We're playing come bets without odds. So they're gonna pay even money no matter what. This white chip is a mental reminder that it doesn't matter how much money's behind it. So if I buy in for 35 chips, right? If they're if they're five dollar chips, you know, then we're, you know, we're the bankroll is nothing, right? It's 175. Um, and I can remind myself that I'm playing with a little bit of money or a lot of money, it doesn't matter. So the white chips are what we're gonna play with. Again, it's counting units of win. And then you can just extrapolate from how many we get into the front row here, how well we're doing. So we're gonna pull up seven units per shooter. I have five shooters in the rack. And we're just gonna run through and see how we do here with five, five shooters. I'm gonna throw random the entire time. And again, the come ladder is a seven unit strategy. I'm just gonna roll out with whatever the point becomes, three successive combats, one greater than the sum total of all action. So here we go. We're gonna get a come out point here. Again, ignoring the pass line. I always ignore the pass line on this one. I know people think I should be on the pass line because the pass line effectively is the first combat. Um, there's a reason why I don't. I'll explain it as I go. Our first point's gonna be a five. Our first combat's gonna be at one unit. It goes to the six. The first combat travels to the six, the four, two, six, right here. Our second combat comes out and it's one unit bigger than the amount of action we've got. So we have one in action. We have a combat of size two units. How it goes. And it's a four, three, seven. And the reason why this bet is one bigger than this is because we lose this one, but we get paid two here. And the effect on our rack is this. We go back to our seven unit allotment for that shooter, and we have our first unit in profit. So we profit on the seven whenever we're in the come. This is always gonna be a seven, a seven winner for us every single time. When they're all set, that's when you're gonna be at risk. And that's that's the hole in the strategy here is of course is when you're when you're got them all set. But we're hoping for a good long roll. It's a, again trying to capitalize on a, on a decent run. There's a hard 10, a five, five, hard 10. That's your new point. Coming out with one unit. And there's a six, one, seven. So the PSO gets us right here again. The last shooter had one roll, then a seven. This shooter has an immediate seven, so that just pays immediately. Again, we're back to seven units for that shooter. We have our second unit in profit. And if you're looking for a 20% win, 20% is seven units. So we've got five stacks of seven. If I can win seven units, in other words, one stack, that's 20% of our bankroll, that would be a win goal achieved. So here we go again, coming out. There's a one, two, three, ace, deuce. Again, we're bypassing the come out so we don't matter. We just need any point established. There's a four. Point will be a four. And here we go. One unit combat. The three, two, five. Let it go to the five. Our second combat's gonna be size two because there's one unit in action. Here it comes. That's gonna go to the nine, a six, three, nine. Two units on the nine. Now our third combat, we have one unit here, two units here. This has to be four. One bigger than the total amount of action. And again, this is one of those strategies where the size matters, where the ratio of the units matter as we go out. So if this gets set, we'll talk about what's gonna happen next. It goes to the nine, that's actually interesting. 
Right, so this nine comes down and gets paid two units. This four units travels into the nine. And I come back to the rack. So I have four units in my rack. I'm not counting my profit as units per se. They're just profit units. For the shooter, I had allotted seven units. I've got four back in the rack. I've got four here and one here. It's five. Since this is not bigger than that, I don't put it out there. I only go out to the come for a third come bet if this can do what I call cover the bets that are here. So it's not big enough to cover, so we ignore it. And there's a six, four, 10. We really need the nine or the five to repeat so we can start playing again and keep this thing moving along. There's a four, three, seven. So it doesn't work out for us this time. That's a bummer, but it's good to see, right? We're gonna lose five units here. What we've got here is four units left from that shooter. We had two units in profit that we showed early. That's six total. It's not quite enough. If you put this back in the rack, that first shooter is one unit behind. So we're actually, we're actually one unit down already for this session. So I'm gonna move this aside and take our next full seven units out and play with that. We'll try to replenish this as soon as we can. Get that rack right, here we go. And if you're curious, this is the first strategy where I really learned and taught myself how to use the separators. Um, I used quarters back in those days, but I've been playing this so long and I used quarters and that's how I first came up with the whole idea of the way that I manage my rack with the per shooter sections and the separators. It was always this strategy. That's why it's one of my, my, my home base kind of strats. Here we go. Point's gonna be nine. Come bet of one. I played this strategy for so many years. Like when I first learned craps, I was doing this because I'd buy in for, literally I'd buy in for 75 bucks at a $3 table in Atlantic City. It's all I could afford. And this was a way to grind and grind and grind and keep me going. And I've gotten pretty good at playing it. And here's another little quick example. Nice little bonus win here. What this does for me, this unit that I can come with goes right back to where we were short. Remember the last shooter we had lost one unit on? I put that win right there. And so my, my bankroll is back to one, two, three, four full shots. And my shooter that I'm working on is also all seven. So I've recouped that $5 loss or that one unit loss. I'm just gonna play again and see what happens here. There's a six, three, nine. So that combat moves to the nine. That's the point. Puck goes off. And now again, we're liable here or at risk to the seven on the come out. You could do this two on the pass line because the pass line again is essentially a come bet. It's the same thing. One greater than what you have in action. I don't like doing this. I know people think I should do it. I don't do it. And the reason why is I like to have three bets working out here and kind of cycling each other through. It's more fun to play that way for me. So I do that more often. This feels like it limits me to two bets up here. And I, for some reason, I just, I don't like it. So I don't do it. Personal preference. You can certainly play the pass line. There's nobody telling you that you can't do it. I just choose not to. So here we go. New point will be a six. Go into the six here. With one set, it's a two unit bet coming out. That's gonna be a five, two, seven. That's great, five, two, seven. And again, that's a, it rolled on me. But that's our, what, our third 0.7 out. We've had 2.7 2 outs and one where it went one. Typical shooting at a random table like this. So what happens? We lose this one. We went to here. Back to the rack we go. That shooter is back to square. We have one unit in profit. So again, three really ugly rolls. And we grind through it, waiting for the good one. This is a great strategy to kind of grind through. New point coming out, six, three, nine. One size combat, here we go. There's a six, five, yo. Nice, little bonus, right? Those little freebie wins. Winner in the comer, great. That bet stays. We racked up a little bit of a profit there. Let's get it set. Another six, five, yo, that's great. Little bonus money. We have three units now in profit and we're on our second shooter. Five, two, seven. Okay, so shooter misses his point. We get paid on that seven. What happens is this, I bring this back. The seven units from my shooter are back intact. In fact, my bankroll 
is where I started with five slots of seven. That chip comes back. We have a four unit profit working, three units away from whatever our goal was, 20%. Let's come out for a new point. That'll be a five, a three, two, five. There's your point. Here's your first bet. Let's get rolling here. Oh, bummer, our first loss in the con. That's a midnight. Midnight will take our money. That's gonna make it interesting if we get past roll three here, what's gonna happen? We'll see how this works out. There's a one, three, four. So if you're gonna go to the four of the 10, you'd rather it happen when you're on the one unit level, that's fine. One unit here means two units coming. Five, three, eight. It's a five, three, eight. So these two head off to the eight. And now you'd like to have a four unit bet coming. You'd like to say, I have one, two, three units out. I wanna put four units here. I can put three. I'm not gonna steal my profit to play this out. I'm gonna play with what I allotted for the shooter. I'm gonna be, be disciplined about that. This bet, however, if a seven comes here, will not show us the one unit profit that we're used to. It's gonna break us even, but it will save these two bets and that's gonna to have to be okay. There's a six, three, nine, six, three, nine. Now, we have all three come bets live and in action. This is your risk point, right? At this strategy here, right now, Big Red takes all your money. That'd be a huge bummer for us. But you're hoping, you grind, grind, grind to get them all set, hoping for a long roll. This is a right side strategy. Let's get a good roll. There's a five, one, six. We're not on it. There's a repeater, five, one, six. Five, one, six again. There's a one, three, four. That's great. The four pays off. There we go. That's going to come down. We'll get paid one unit for that one and bring it back to our shooter's end of the rack here. Again, we, we have two units here and there's six units out here. We can't cover what's out here. So we're going to let this sit. There's a five, one, six. I think it's our third six during this shot. That's pretty good. Three, two, five. That's your point. Doesn't matter, we weren't on it. We have two bets now in, ac in action. There's three on the nine, two on the eight. Come out, roll here. There's a one, two, three. Ace, deuce, doesn't matter. We're not on the pass line, so we're good. Just need something to be set. There's a six, five, yo. Three, two, five. Back on the five, that's the same point as before. Let's get the eight and nine to resolve for us. Perfect, there's an eight. There's a four, four, hard eight. That pays two. And back to the rack we go. Now my rack, I've got six units here. I've got three units in action on the nine. This is the time to come back out with a four unit bet. Okay, we're gonna cover our three with four. And again, try and take advantage of what seems to be a pretty good roll. There's a hard 10, that's a bummer. I don't like, the higher come bets going to the outsides, if we can help it. There's four units on the 10, three on the nine, two in the rack. Let's get some, let's get some good rolls continuing here. There's a five, three, eight. We're not on the eight. There's a five, one, six. Also not there. One, two, three, ace, deuce. Now again, we say this all the time, if I'm betting the don't, or I'm betting a come bet system like this where you're limiting yourself to two or three total bets, one thing you have to have is patience and you have to remove the fear of missing out. I've hit three sixes on this roll, or maybe more than that, a bunch of fives earlier. I cannot be worried that everybody else is collecting money when I'm not. If I want a limited bankroll like we are here, 35 units, this is the way that this thing works. You have to play it the way you brung it. And that's a discipline piece that's hard for a lot of folks, hard for me for many years. And I've learned to play it this way. There's the four, three, seven. So it's unfortunate that we didn't get our hits in here. So we're gonna go down. Potentially we had some profit there, but we go down. How does our rack look? We have four units from before in profit, two that we are now that we have left. So now we're back to being down a unit. We had a four unit profit. Now we're upside down by one, not the end of the world. We're gonna fight back. Just gotta get our numbers to repeat. We gotta find a good rhythm 
where we're having repeat numbers that we're actually on and not missing out on, okay? New point will be eight. First comeback comes out. It's gonna be eight. It's gonna to go to the eight, the puck will be off. It's a six two, by the way, six two eight, right there. Here's the one, two, three, ace, deuce. When the come out, does not matter. There's a four, one, five. Our new point will be a five. With one unit on the eight, we come out with two. Six, four, ten. Six, four, ten. And finally, a four unit combat to cover the three that's out here. Let's see if we can't get some good action here. Oh no, that's a bummer. It's a midnight. So we lose our four. Now we're actually behind. We're going to have to do some work here to get caught back up again. We're going to be down at least one full shooter by the time this is over with. There's a six, two, eight. Easy eight. That's going to pay one. Now what I've got here is two on the ten and two on the eight that wins. I'm going to put that right back in here and try and work this shooter back to health if we can get some, some decent rolls here. Ah, it goes to the four. So now I've got the outsides only. The four and the ten against the seven. Tough place to be when you're combating. There's a five, one, six. Five, one, six. The numbers are really spreading all over the place. And when you're throwing random like this, you're not going to typically find yourself in a pocket of any kind. You're going to be all over the place. You're going to fill the probability chart the way I'm throwing. But we did get a four, which is great. That's going to come down, and it's going to get itself paid four units. Now, back to the rack we go. Job one for me is to put the chip back here that we lost from before. Right now we have four good shooters, and I've got two units here. I'm going to put three more in the cum. We're going to protect those two with three and see if we can't get this thing to nurse itself back. There's a five. That's the point. Five. All of our chips are in action. The puck is off. And now we're looking for either of these to hit on the come out roll. Just looking to avoid big red for as long as we can. There's a six, two, eight, new point. Six, four, ten. That's beautiful, actually. That pays two. That comes down and gets paid two. Now I've got three units here on the five, which means these four units cover it. They will stay out here in the come, and we're just going to go for this thing right here. There's a four, three, seven. That's actually a really good result. A four, three, seven takes away our three units from the five, but we had four in the come. It pays four in the come. The net result of this is this. Seven of those units that were in the come come back, and we've we were down a full shooter plus a couple of units. We're back with a one unit profit. So this strategy does a pretty good job of bouncing back from loss like that. Um, when you catch the one good roll, which we will catch here at some point, I'm sure, you'll find that it doubles up and you can get out of here pretty quick. You just gotta catch that shot when it happens. Here we go, 70 units up front. Puck is off, coming out. Four is the new point. One unit to the come. There's a hard eight, four, four, square pair. It moves in. We'll do two to cover one. There's an eight, it pays right away. A little repeater that will come down and receive a chip. Two units goes to the eight. Because there's two units out here, our next bet is gonna be of size three. Now what this does, because that repeated so quick, with three units left in our rack, we're not gonna be able to do a fourth bet. So, or a third bet. So we're in a weird spot, but that's okay. I'll take, I'll take the little win there for what it's worth. There's a six, five, yo, beautiful. That pays three in that come. Now we're looking pretty good. And in fact, if I do a quick little bit of math here, this, what I've got in front of me is seven units, which means that's our initial bankroll with three units in the come. We're actually got a little bit of profit here. That's pretty good. I'm going to put these three back because we're probably going to use them as we're coming out here. Four, two, six. All right. We've got two units on the eight, three units on the six, and three units in that shooter's rack or that shooter's money. We're not going to dip into here. Okay. We're going to leave those three sitting there and let these two bets resolve themselves and see if we can't get some extra action here. Just want to get a little repeater. 
Um, 6.5, yo, would have been nice to have been in here for that one, but didn't work out. There's a one, two, three, ace, deuce. What do they say? See a horn, hop the reds. Seems to work out that way. Exactly that way, five, two, seven. So unfortunately, these bets will go down. That's a shame. But at the end, we did recover back our full money. Let's hope that this shooter is the one that takes us not just in grind mode, but somewhere special. Here we go, five, four, nine. There's the nine, coming out with one. Just gotta get a good run, back to back to back. Six, two, eight. First one goes to the eight, coming out with two. Four, two, seven. Okay, we're gonna do this again. Um, but again, you know, what strategies do you have that grind, that can take a PSO and turn it into a one unit profit? Like that's the point here, right? This is designed like the horseman in some respects to get you a little bit of profit early and be there for a long roll. That one time we were here for a good roll, we just were hitting the one number we weren't on every single time, right? Timing, here we go. Bet of one, that's a seven, okay? 0.7 out, one unit profit, back to the rack we go, the puck is off again. 3-1-4 is our next point. Out with one. That's a hard six. That's gonna come into here. There comes two. Three, two, five. And our last one will be size four. And that's an aces. All right, darn it. Ace deuce rather it takes our money. That's a huge bummer. All right, let's play it out. Can these two get us back, the five and the six? Can we get some repeats on here? There's a six, that's good. Six pays one, our lowest bet. We have two on the five. I'm gonna put this two right back out. Even though it's not enough to quote unquote cover it, we're still gonna play it out and see if we can't make some extra cash here. There's a nine. Now we have the five and the nine working for us. There's a five, four, one, five. That pays two units. We have two here. I'm gonna let three sit in the come and bring back one. Ah, there's a seven. It's okay. We'll lose two. We'll win three. And our net for that shooter is being up, up two units. So small profit, grind away. Here we go. Points out. Not yet anyway. There's a one, two, three. Ace Zeus. There's a nine. Just cannot seem to get a long enough roll to make it work. I'll tell you what, if you were doing something like the Molly here, you'd be getting crushed with the odds. That's the problem with, with the Molly, the odds get you. This one here, the odds aren't your enemy. Just looking for roll length. Six five yo with a two unit bet. That's great. That comes in. Put that in the rack. There's a hard four, two, two hard four that goes over here. And now we have three units in action, four units coming out. Four, three, seven. Boy, we just cannot get a, get a decent roll going, but this strategy at this stage, it's fine. You lose three, you win four, and our rack is gonna have seven units over here and five units over here. So believe it or not, we're two units away from our goal. At the ugly stage that we're at with these rolls that I'm making, we're still gonna make our goal, totally fine. Come out seven, no big deal, we're not playing anything. There's two come out sevens, good, let's waste the sevens now. Waste all those horn numbers now, sevens and horns, get them out of the system. So once we're out here on points, let's roll some numbers. Coming out with one. Five, three, eight. The first one goes to the eight. The second one at level two. Seven out. There's been at least five of those tonight. It's, it's incredible how often that happens. Okay, so back to the rack we go. There's six, seven units. 
There's six units here in profit. I think, I have to look at the video here afterwards, but I think I've had four or five point and immediate seven and at least one or two point one number and then a seven. I tell you all the time how fast the seven comes. It's unbelievable how fast the seven comes. And that was a roll there where we had 11, 11, a couple of aces before the point got set. The roll counter would have been at six for that shooter, right? Statistically, it feels like a pretty good shot. In reality, not very good at all. Six, three, nine is our point. Here we go. Four, two, six. Our first comeback moves into the six. Second one of two units. Goes to the eight. Good, we have the two best numbers working. That's great. Our third combat at size four. Six, three, nine, that's the point. So we're gonna be in, in a little bit of a danger zone here. We've got all three of them out. They're on good numbers. Come out seven will bite us here if we happen to see one. Five, three, eight, our new point's gonna be eight. This will come down and get paid two units which we will just happily collect, put off to the side. There's a six, four, 10, not on it. Let's get that nine shooter. There's a six, a four, two, six, that pays one unit. Now what I'm gonna do here is make a conservative decision, I think. We have a four, two, six that pays one unit, it comes back to the rack. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at where our rack is. Here is six, seven units. This is our starting bankroll. We have five units in profit, looking to win seven units. I'm two units away from goal. I've got four units out here and five units in my rack. I could be conservative, let that nine resolve and call it a day, or keep playing the strategy, which is to put one unit more than I have in action out here in action. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play it to the letter. Worst case scenario, we're back where we started. And I'm gonna take the aggressive approach here. Not even aggressive, just play the strategy like it's supposed to be played. Five, four, or five, one, or four, one, five, rather. There we go. Five and nine working for us. Let's get one of those two to come in and we'll be in good shape. We don't, we get the seven. You know what, it was the right move to make. We lost this. It was the right move to make. Um, even though we're, we blew five units in profit, it's okay, I'm happy with, with the decision because again, it's what the strategy asks you to do. So we're gonna take a new shooter. We gotta get back to work here and re-earn the profit that we just blew in that last shot. Seven will come out. Grinding away. This is a grinder, grinder strategy. And I think I might've said this in the video that I made for to teach you kind of how to play it. This is the kind of strategy that I'm not going to the casino with to earn massive amounts of money. This is hanging out with friends one night and we're going to dinner or we're going to a show and we're burning a bunch of time and I want to play and enjoy the game. I'm talking around to people. We're having fun. That goes to the nine, by the way. And this is a rhythm of the game, having a good time, not worrying about a whole lot of stuff. Up a little, down a little. You're not going to take them to the cleaners. You're not going to get cleaned either. Two unit win there, which nets as a one unit win. Um, but you can do this all night long, right? At the end of the night, you're gonna end up having some money. You're gonna end up making money. I always do with this strategy. Um, and it's, it's perfectly fine. This is a way to spend hours at a table and enjoy your evening. So it's not, like I said, this is not a run home. I'm sorry, I should have been in the come there for one unit. That goes to the six. This is not a uh, quick hit in and out kind of a system. Three, two, five. Next one goes to the five, two units on the five. One of the six, four on the way. There's a yo 11. That is a good time for that to happen. That's a four unit win there in the come. There's a six, two, eight. All right, good. We have the six, the eight, and the five. We basically have an iron cross working for us here um, through come betting. You know, if you wanted to be froggy about it, you could throw a unit into the into the field and play the iron cross, you know, you could. Um, matter of fact, why not? No, you know, I'm not gonna do it. it. It'd be fun to do, but we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna play, play our bets as they are. There's a six, four, 10, of course, which would have paid a unit. That's cool. Here we go, coming out. Looking to avoid big red here on the come out with the numbers that we've got set. There's an ace deuce. 
There's a four, two, six on the come out. Okay, the new point's gonna be a six. One unit on the six comes down, of course, and pays one unit. I'll bring that back here. And what I've got out here is I've got four here and two here, that's six. I need seven to come out and cover that. I won't, I won't put out more than five. So to me, that's over and above what I'm gonna be laying out here to cover these bets. One of those two has to resolve before I come back out. So we're gonna cap our come bets at a five unit level. There's a three, two, five. Okay, cool. That comes down and gets paid two units. I've got four here. So I'm gonna stack that up and add one to it. There's five units coming out to cover four. That's my top. There's a six, five, yo, 11, yo. That's great. That pays five units into the, into the come. Now, what we're gonna do here is this. We're gonna look at our rack. As this comes back in, I'm gonna put seven units right now into the bankroll. That is our starting bankroll. If I take this five units down and I add it to my bankroll, there is 20%. That's our win goal. That's what you're looking for is a hit like that to get you over the hump. We've got our 20%. We're done. I have two units extra and four units out here. This becomes short stack play. Let these things resolve. Let's get that eight to hit and we'll restart the, the magic. There's a six. There's a hard 10, five, five, hard 10. There's a one, two, three, ace, deuce. Repeater, one, two, three, ace, deuce. See a horn, hop the reds, right? Four, one, five, four, one, five. Five, three, eight, great. Good result. That time, finally, the combats really worked out and did their jobs, all, all of them. So here it goes, that pays four units, and that comes back to my rack. Now, in my rack, what I would do is this. If I wanna keep playing the same strategy, which we're going to do, I'm gonna set aside seven units. There's five, six, seven units. Represents a new series of bets, seven units. I'm gonna take the extra three and stack it up. Every time I've got profit, I'm gonna keep seven units playing and put three more back in my stack. Once I'm at this level, we never go back into here, but I'm gonna to add to it all the time. Every time I can add seven units, it's 20% more of a win. Let's, actually we're still in the six. Restart the series with a one unit bet. We've cleared the board, put a one unit bet out there, and let's roll it out. Bummer, we lost it on the midnight. It's okay. This is what you call playing with excess profit. This is profit above and beyond what you intended to win. I'm in great shape here. There's the four coming out with two to cover the one. Oh boy, that's two horn numbers that have taken our come bets. That's, a, that's not great, but it is what it is, right? Two to cover one. Can we survive it? There's a five, four, one, five, five, the fever. There it is, we have one unit left for this shooter. Three units out there, we can't afford to come out and play. Let's hope that these things resolve themselves. Six, three, nine. And that is a one, two, three, again, ace, deuce. Aces, ace, deuce followed by aces. Ripping that field apart right now. <clears throat> Five, one, six. There's finally that point getting hit. Coming out. Five, two, seven. Okay, so we burned it. These didn't work out. That extra shooter that we earned through excess profit didn't work out, but we did take out of here a 20% profit plus four units. Now, I did this in white, and that was a grind. I probably threw at least 60 shots there. That was probably... 10 actual shooters worth of play. That's probably once around the, the actual table. Once around the table to make 11 units in profit. There's 11 units in profit. Now I did it in whites, okay? Had I bought in with red chips, that would be 35 red chips. And 35 red chips, I believe is 175 as a buy-in. Let's take a look at what this is. Let me go to my, my calc here, 35. Uh, times five is 175. So 
175 at the $5 level, if those are $5 chips, what we just won there was 55 bucks against 175. That's not a bad win, okay? That's really a solid win. That's, that's 11 units. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. Now, what if these were green chips? And here's the what if game. If you were playing at the green level, what would that have looked like? You would have bought in for 35 times 25 for 875, okay? A little higher buy-in, obviously, but what does 11 green units look like? 11 times 25? That's a $275 win if they're green chips. So it looks weird to play with whites. It seems odd to even play with, with red chips, right? Small buy-in, small reward, but just change the colors and look at the difference. If these are red or if these are black chips, sure, you're buying in for 3,500 and you grind, 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 you walk out of here with 1,100 bucks, okay? Notice that we never got past here in our rack. We only dipped into shooter number four here a couple of times and only for like one or two chips. The strategy is pretty stable. You'll stay in these two shooters most up and down, up and down for one or two shooters. I've had it go down to about here a few times and generally speaking, it battles back to be at least get you back to a more reasonable loss limit. This is a very resilient strategy. It's a good grind. And like I said, you get the right run, that 11 at the right time followed by the eight, boom. Pretty darn good profit there. So I'm, I'm enjoying it. I've, I've, I've been playing this thing. This is going back to my early, early craps days, how I first learned how to play. Somebody showed me this when I was probably 25 years old. And this kept me alive at the tables with actual $3 units, believe it or not, for years and years. So anyway, it's an homage to my youth. I love it. I still play it as one of my toolkit strategies. And there's a live example of how this thing goes at the table. You will get burned in here sometimes. You will get burned on that come out seven sometimes, but it will replenish itself. It'll keep itself going. It's very resilient and a highly capable strategy. Again, 11 unit win. I'll take that every day if I go. So there it is. That's the come ladder live and in color. Appreciate you watching. Thanks for being here. I know it's like one o'clock in the morning, my time. So uh, again, I appreciate that. Hope that was cool. Um, I'm going to add that to the, uh, to the tail end of the how to play it tape and get that up to y'all soon. So thanks again for watching all. Have a good, good evening. I'll see you in the morning for coffee and craps.